I'm Gina Dolan. Um, I set up Rumbles over 26 years ago, I should say now. We started off as a small voluntary project in a community building. My name's Tamar Roberts. I'm one of the uh, directors of the CICs and senior managers of the charity. We have three cafes that are all based in country parks, green spaces. So um, they're a fully working cafe, um, but we're also a training cafe. So the people that you see when you come to the cafe and that serve you, we have um, paid staff that mentor the beneficiaries and the beneficiaries are people with various different degrees of um, educational challenges, learning disabilities. It was important for us to have training as well as the catering. The catering was a source of income, but the training was something we could deliver. You, can't, you couldn't do one or the other without having some form of training because they needed that stability of understanding what they were doing. Isabel's absolutely wonderful. She's really brilliant at gauging the what's needed one-on-one -on -one to be able to get them to a place where they can then work more independently. For Nottinghamshire, we were the, probably the first to ever do it. And then we was approached from ooh, all over the country, really. We're coming to see how we actually did it and how did we get the funding for it. You can't say it's low staff and it isn't. It's expensive, but you can make it sustainable if you get the right location, the right staff and the right product. So I did four and a half years at Rickers and then two and a half here. Um, I serve out from like seven customers and like seven food and yeah, definitely one little family. Going and, like evening like meals out and like having a laugh with everybody. And... It's about them enjoying coming out to work. There's nothing worse than somebody going out and not enjoying where they're coming. They've got to enjoy coming to where they go and you make friends when you go to it. And I think that's what they get from coming to us. They have banter, they, we talk together about everything. Nobody's excluded. It is about coming and feeling like part of something and they're part of a community. We've always come to Sutton Lawn because we live in the area, but we started coming to the cafe when it opened and um, over the years we've formed a really close attachment to them all and uh, having a profoundly disabled son of 54 it's ideal for meeting his needs. Mark has a lot of seizures. They don't make you embarrassed and they don't make, a, uh, make Mark seem out at normal. It's the acceptability. My name is Steve Kirby and I work at Real Education which is uh, in Nottingham area to bring in a child here at the beginning of the year uh, to do lessons and then the possibility came up of him doing some volunteering here on the Tuesday and uh, his first comments were no because it meant doing some work but then he, uh, he enjoyed it and he's developed an empathy as well towards children with disabilities because first of all um, he was a bit um, I say Mickey taking of people like that, but then when he realised he was working with them and they're, they're just normal people, whatever normal is, he, he was really good and it's, uh, it's done him a lot of good and his foot's on the ladder now that it wouldn't have had that opportunity if it wasn't for these people here and uh, there's not a lot of places allow you to come in and spend a few hours there, sometimes without a drink. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a nice welcoming environment here. Let's go ahead, your faithful customers who have been supporting us and I'm going to go through. But I'm not going to stand up time because I've got a bad back. Our lease came up for renewal in September of last year and we um, found out after having a meeting that they were intending 
uh, to put us on a purely commercial rental basis. So as if we were a Starbucks or a Costa or another cafe that didn't employ or train people with learning disabilities. They were viewing us as a pu purely commercial enterprise. It was terrible. And we were thinking, what can we do? What can we do? So we tried ringing these different people on, who were our counsellors. Never had an answer. Friends of Rumble's Cafe is a community group set up by local residents who use the cafe. Uh, we came together when we found out that the cafe was under threat of eviction by the council and we wanted to put a stop to that. So collectively, as a bunch of customers and local residents who value the cafe, we thought we would get together and try and do something about it. We understand from the charity that they've um, tried to have discussions with the council. The council proposed uh, about 14,000% increase to their rent. They want to switch them from being on the charitable lease to a commercial lease. Uh, and that represents going from a peppercorn rent of 50 quid a year to 7,000. Uh, they also want them to take on um, the maintenance and the responsibilities for the public toilet block that sits next to the cafe. And what they have said as the charity is, listen, we can possibly just about absorb that increase in rent but that would mean that potentially we can't do as many placements for people with disabilities and other vulnerabilities but we could absorb that. What we can't do is take on the responsibility for the public toilet blocks that the council run because the liability assurance alone won't cover all instances and therefore if an accident happens then they would go bankrupt so they can't take on the council's responsibility. It is affecting him deeply, isn't it? It's yeah, really, really much. affecting him. And that's also the, the thing which is... is uh, the ones that are based at Sutton, it's terrible. Yeah, it's having a terrible emotional effect on them and their emotional well-being. Um, I think it's affecting their home life because it's all they have ever known. So it's not they're not really able to rationalise it in kind of the same way that people would, although I think anybody would be. You can only kind of guess what they're feeling and we try and deal with that, but it's having a terrible emotional effect on them. Yeah, unfortunately. Cafe faces almost certain closure from the local independent-led council. It's not just a cafe though that um, provides a great service for the community in Sutton. It's also a place where young people with SEN and their families can come for, for training for mentoring, for to learn new skills, to learn skills how to live independently, how to uh, how to learn how to get into the the workplace. So it provides a safe haven for, for these families as well. So yes, I'm not happy. The community is not very happy, and certainly the uh, the, the, the members of, of of the SEN community are not very happy too. You know, it's no secret that this place is a good a good business. It's run really, really well, and um, I think they want to capitalise on that by kicking out these, these wonderful families and these great volunteers and put somebody else in who can make a profit. But you can't put a price on the health and well-being of, of young people with special education needs. That should come first. You know, it should be a price worth paying to, to have that place. Um, it takes all that sort of pressure off local services as well, like especially mental health provisions as well. So it's very short-sighted, it's very selfish, and it's very greedy. It's an ongoing battle for people with disabilities to make sure that they're not maligned or disregarded or disrespected. I'm not happy because it's like all I've said, it's all I've ever known for the last few years and I've got to know everybody and just decide to like, leave everybody. We've been trying to speak to the council from the point of view of um, supporting the cafe, reaching out to the council. The council haven't been very forthcoming in their discussions with, um, with the cafe. So that's why we said, look, is there something we can do to help? Maybe we can encourage people to sign a petition. We can ask people to support the crowdfunder uh, so that we can cover the legal fees that the cafe are having to um, fork out in trying to um, tackle the eviction. Um, and we can also ask people to write letters in as well um, to just show their support and help boost morale with everybody who's involved with the cafe because it's quite a stressful time for them. I think we've got a lot to learn from learning disabilities. That was the one thing I found that um, I enjoyed the most. I've learnt more than what they've learnt about myself and about them. It's, oh, it's going to make me cry. I love working with them. It's absolutely been one of the best jobs I've ever had, honestly. I think until we all decide to walk away together, 
or someone makes us have to walk away. I don't know how we could just make that decision of our own accord and say, okay, we're going to stop. Places like this are so important and we've got to try and keep them. And we're going to try and keep it going for them. Don't know whether we'll succeed or not, but it not be for one to try and try and hard.